Today we look at a cheap alternative for a branding iron that is able to produce different designs at different sizes. This is my grandfather's branding iron. He was a wheelwright and later created wooden car bodies. While I love this branding iron, I produce a lot of things that are smaller than a car. For these it is too big and I would like to include the year of the build as well. Even a custom branding iron would not allow me to add the current year or change my mark. When looking for an alternative solution, I found this cheap laser engraver. I bought it on sale for a little over 80 euros. The basic idea is very simple. You put the laser on the workpiece, connect it to power, press a button, align the laser, press the button again and the logo gets engraved. Once the logo is preloaded on the laser, it does not even require a connection to the computer anymore. In principle, you could use the laser engraver as it comes out of the box, but there are a few improvements that make it easier to use. In the last video, we have built these protective covers. There will be a link in the video description that also contains a more detailed video of the laser itself. Putting the covers on the laser is a critical safety feature, but the interior becomes very dark. At least for me, it is very difficult to align the laser on the workpiece that way. My first thought was to build a small jig to simplify the alignment of the laser with the position of the mark. Unfortunately, the center of the virtual workspace is not centered with the physical cube, so this idea did not work. But the friendly manufacturer from China placed two additional solder points in their PCB. These provide 12 volts. We quickly solder an LED strip to these pads and have bright light in the cube. In fact, the light is so bright that now the blue laser indicator is hard to see. With some red color on the LEDs, we reach a good compromise between visibility of the surface and the indicator. For a hobbyist that is putting his mark only on a few pieces, the 5 to 10 minute engraving time for a mark do not really matter. If you run a production shop with 50 items a day, this might not be the right solution for you. Next, we cut a few scraps of 3mm MDF to size. With these, we can raise the laser off the ground and put smaller objects such as this pen under the laser engraver. It is easy to position the laser and the engraving goes very quickly. If you work a lot on construction sites, the laser engraver is also a great way to mark your tools. Also here, the strips come in handy. Let me know what you would engrave with it in the comments. For some furniture, the narrow side of a board is the best place to position the maker mark. To do this, we glue four pieces of plywood together. With two clamps, they form a platform for the laser to stand on. Engraving the logo is easy and it is now in a very unobtrusive place. The last thing to complete this project is building a case for the laser engraver so that the machine can survive in the shop environment. The design is a bit special as I'm using the edge bending of the plywood not only as a colorful accent but also as the joint between the panels.
with the box, my branding iron is ready to use and to put my maker mark all over the place. I think this tool is going to see a lot of use in my shop. If you liked the video, don't forget to subscribe and check out the review of the laser engraver and what materials it is able to cut or look for more projects with the laser cutter.